Yeah, I'm here at Harborview Elementary School in Coquitlam, one of the schools that you just saw as part of Variety's school grant program. And since it's Variety Week, we wanted to show you where these funds can go. So I'm here with some new friends, and you're all going to show me your new sensory path. Okay, so show me what your favorite part is, okay? So what do we have here, the ladybug? Yeah. Okay, so show me how you do this one, okay? I'm going to walk across. Okay, I'm going to come right behind you. Thank you. Okay, so walking. Got to stay on the stay on the line. Okay. Oh, now we have the hopping. What is this one? What is this one? Frog the frog leap. leap. Okay, frog leap. Okay. Hopping like a frog. All right. You got it. Ant march. Go Ant march. Tell me about this one. What do you have to do on this one? Just march. Just march. March like an ant. Are we all marching like an ant? Okay. Then you walk on like Okay. We're balancing. We're balancing. All right. And what's this one? Hopscotch. So do you have to jump across or you just one step? One step? Yeah. Just go on the numbers. Okay. All right. Well, Mr. Fridge, I got to come talk to you now, the principal here at Harborview. So talk to me about how this sensory path has impacted the uh, well, we all have sensory needs. Uh, the main function of this is to either energize the students or to calm their bodies down. Uh, we do know in, in this line of work recently, uh, we've, we're starting to see a lot of dysregulated students. And what this allows us to do is gives them a little bit of an opportunity, maybe twice or three times through, they're able to calm their bodies and get back into the green zone, as we call it here. Uh, which allows them to be ready for, for learning. Right, right. And so even something as small as, you know, the stickers on the ground actually induce that. That's really, really cool. Yeah, they're, as you can see, they're colorful, engaging. It's the first thing you see when you walk in the building. Uh, it, it's just one of those things that you're drawn to and you want to be a part of it, whether you're walking on your tippy toes or, you know, side shuffle or hopping. Mm -hmm. uh, it's hard to walk by this and not get involved. Even as an adult, I have to say it's true. Um, and also, I guess the last thing I want to talk about is obviously Variety having this, this school match, you know, this, this program that you all have benefited from. Talk to me about the importance of having something like that at Variety to support this. Absolutely. The, all the credit goes to our Harborview PAC that uh, went out, sourced this uh, grant through Variety, and it's, uh, they've matched, Variety's matched the, uh, the same amount that uh, Harborview PAC has put in. Um, it, it's it's really easy to do. Yes, there's a little bit of work, but uh, the benefits are, are that the kids get to enjoy it, mm -hmm. and it benefits the school in, in that the teachers uh, don't have dysregulated or, or less regulated students in their rooms. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, well, I'm glad to see it's already getting used. I know there's probably years of, of, of impact, but it's really great to see um, how these kids light up when they're on it. So thank you for sharing it with me. And, and if you have a school that needs an inclusion or an accessibility upgrade, um, you can actually apply right now. Go to variety.bc.ca and you, they're taking applications until the end of the month. And while you're there, you might as well donate because only because of you donating can things like this happen. Um, so please donate. The phone number is 310kids. The, the website is variety.bc.ca. I'm going to send it back to you for now.